Russian personnel and material losses in Ukraine are so high, the Kremlin is having serious problems recruiting new contract soldiers and is relying on decommissioning Soviet-era weapons as it cannot produce enough modern versions, Ukraine's military intelligence spokesperson said. Speaking on national TV, Andriy Yusov said the situation will soon have an impact on the frontline situation and Russia's ability to effectively wage war. Russian losses in Ukraine reached conflict highs during May and June, the UK Defence Ministry reported. In an intelligence report on X, the ministry said average daily Russian casualties, both killed and wounded, reached 1,262 and 1,163 in the two months, respectively. On July the 18th, President Volodymyr Zelensky said in an interview with the BBC that around 20,000 Russian troops were killed during Russia's failed offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. They can replenish these losses, Yusuf said, adding, but there are already serious problems with the recruitment of new contract soldiers. The aggressor state is coming up with new incentives at various levels to attract new cannon fodder, but this machine is starting to malfunction. As Russia has sought to replenish its military, decimated by high losses in Ukraine, authorities have implemented financial perks to incentivize enlistment. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin signed a decree on July the 23rd establishing a one-time signing bonus of 1.9 million rubles or $21,200 for city residents who joined the military. It will currently take Russian President Vladimir Putin five years to get Moscow's army back to its February 2022 strength, a prominent British military chief has said as the war in Ukraine drags on and casualties mount with little prospect of an end to the conflict in sight. Russia's military has now sustained an estimated 550,000 casualties in the nearly two and a half years of full-scale war in Ukraine, Admiral Tony Radakin, the UK chief of the defense staff, said. Our assessments are that it will take Putin five years to reconstitute the Russian army to where it was in February 2022, Radikin said at the Royal United Services Institute Land Warfare Conference in London. It will take another five years beyond that to rectify the weaknesses that the war has revealed, he added. The figure of 550,000 casualties comes in just below statistics put forward by Kyiv. Casualty counts are very difficult to pinpoint and numbers put forward by either party in a conflict are treated with caution. Western estimates of Russian casualties have typically broadly matched Ukraine's numbers in recent months, and the British government said in late May that Russia's killed and wounded had surpassed half a million since early 2022. Western intelligence and experts suggest many of the Russian soldiers currently on the front lines have limited training, often volunteers or convicts, and cannot carry out complex operations. A Su-34 fighter has crashed in Russia's Volgograd region while performing a training flight, the Russian Ministry of Defense said on Saturday. During a scheduled training flight, a Su-34 aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces crashed in the Volgograd region. The crew ejected, and there is no threat to the lives of the pilots. The plane crashed in a deserted area. The flight was carried out without ammunition, the ministry clarified in a statement published in local media. According to the ministry statement, there was no destruction on the ground. The ministry stressed that the preliminary cause of the fighter's crash was a technical malfunction. A commission under the Russian Aerospace Forces is working on the site of the crash. It should be noted that, another Su-34 fighter belonging to the Russian Aerospace Forces crashed in the mountains of North Ossetia on June 11. According to the Ministry of Defense, the crew of the plane was killed. The ministry said the crash had been caused by a technical malfunction. According to TASS news agency reports, there were two pilots on board the Su-34, and the plane crashed in the mountains of the Alagir region. 